Suleiman Abu Duhuk was born here in the Bedouin village of Khan al Ahmar in the Israeli occupied West Bank. He's lived here with his family all his life. The Israeli government wants to demolish Khan al Ahmar and many other Bedouin villages as part of a plan called E1, which involves expanding the illegal settlement of Mala Adumin completely surrounding Jerusalem and separating the north from the south of the occupied West Bank. I am like any man. I'm asking for freedom like any Israeli. I have the right to live and to have my freedom like he does. They forced our parents to leave in 1948 and now they are forcing us out. But where can we go? Israeli security forces raided Khan al Ahmar on Wednesday, arresting and injuring a number of people. A day later, bulldozers began clearing a path to the village. But late on Friday, Israel's Supreme Court put a temporary injunction on the demolition of the village after the Palestinian Authority submitted documents, it says, show Palestinians have owned the land since before Israel's 1967 occupation. Activists, Palestinian villagers and politicians recognize that the fight to protect Khan al Ahmar and 23 other villages in this area that also face demolition is far from over yet. But they say this case is important because they want support from the international community. They say that it highlights how Israel continues to expand its settlements, which is illegal according to international law. Under the 1993 Oslo Agreement between Israel and Palestine, the occupied West Bank was divided into three zones. Khan al Ahmar is in what is called Area C. The Israeli government has administrative and security control here. Israel says it confiscated the land around Khan al Ahmar in the 1970s and has a right to build here. Palestinian politicians say they have proof the land is still owned and leased to the Bedouin by Palestinians. And these illegal settlers who are settled on unoccupied territory have swimming pools, have schools, have kindergartens, have everything, while this community is suffering in such a terrible way. What is this if it is not a system of apartheid? Suleiman shows us the school that was built in 2009 using tires because the Israeli authorities would not allow proper building materials into the village. Israel has always refused to issue building permits or supply the village with water and electricity. They say the Palestinians here can move to another area around 12 kilometers away near a landfill. Suleiman and his fellow villagers say they will not leave. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Khan al-Ahmar in the occupied West Bank.